Matt Alistair mentioned that you guys really set the standard in terms of how you want to play it when you play against All Blacks a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, would you agree with that, that forward performances? you want to see more of that in terms of how you play it? Yeah, I, th I think um, if, you, if you take the two games of Australia and New Zealand, um, there was a slight difference in the style we played, um, slight emphasis from the pack a different style. <coughs> Almost a, a game A and a game B type of effect. Um, I think that game was designed for for the All Black uh, requirements, the way they defend, the way they play. So, um, uh, you know, from a perspective, I think the the emotional input from the pack was exceptional, um, particularly coming back from uh, the, the the previous game in Albany. <coughs> we weren't, um, you know, the normal standard. We weren't good enough, and uh, I thought there was a much better intended set phase. The lineup was exceptional. Yeah, we're still growing as a, as a scrum. We've had a couple of challenges there, but I think um, you know, we were happy with what we did that week. Does, does a lot change now in terms of a forward point of view? I know that uh, Ireland's line speed. Um, mm. Does the focus change a lot? Um, oh, you're asking me to talk about uh, attack stuff, which is a little bit above my pay grade. Yeah. But, you know, Attacking uh, breakdowns and so on. <clears throat> yeah, look, I mean, the, the, the Irish are, are, have a really good defensive plan. Um, we felt that in June last year, they, they frustrated us the ability to get go forward ball, um, the ability to, to tackle low and, and, and contest the ball on the ground. And then, you know, if you tend to carry higher, they, they look to attack the ball straight in the air. So they, they're very good in, in, in the in-contact skills about how they, they frustrate, you, frustrate you and slow your ball down. And that is all built from, from line speed. So there are a few um, criteria that they need to be able to generate that. and. Uh, We've worked um, to try and to try and take advantage of it. We, we saw that uh, emotional performance by your forwards against the All Blacks in Cape then after a big loss. Mm. But how do you transfer that to Dublin on a cold November evening? I think the respect of the Irish. You know, we respect every international team we play against. I think um, the performance in Cape Town wasn't just about the All Blacks <coughs> we were playing. It's about what we want to say about ourselves. So I don't that think that's got to do with the opposition. We respect every opposition we play against. <coughs> we had three tough games against Ireland um, last June, and um, that still sits in our memory. You know, I think speaking to the Irish coaches, they were they felt well maybe we got away with one in the game. Last minute there was a controversial moment in the game to get away with it. it could have been one-one. So we're well aware of how tough that game was. So we take the lessons we learned from that. Um, Alistair said that post-2016, we, we learned a lot of hard lessons about ourselves, and that's what we've been applying. Uh, I don't think we look at opposition and say, OK, we play the All Blacks, now we're going to give 50% extra. We look at the opposition, and we respect it. We're the Irish sit in the world table. They're very well coached. Um, the, the Irish system is very well managed, with their player resources and player management. So they always have a group of players that are very well conditioned to be able to play international rugby. And we respect it.